Good morning, everybody. Hey, I just wanted to jump on here really quick because I w just dropped my kids off at school and I had this message just download in my spirit. And I'm like, I need to pull over and just get this out because I feel like God's speaking through this right now. So as I was dropping my kids off, I just had the thought occur to me that it is a great desire of mine when my kids ask me for something that's good for me to be able to give that to them but there are times that you know my kids ask me something for that something that's not good and maybe they don't understand why it's not good for them but me having the discernment and the judgment that I do have what God's allowed me to have um, given me I know those things aren't good for them so of course I'm not going to just hand those things over to my children because I know I have the knowledge and to know that those things are not good for them but when they do ask me for something that's good it's a great joy to be able to give that to your children because it's a good thing and it it brings joy to them because that's something that they desire too but it's the same with God. Sometimes we go to God and we ask him for things where it, it's not a good thing for us. And he knows because he knows everything. He knows the future. He's, he knows where he wants to take us. And there are times that we're asking him for things that are not good. Or sometimes we're asking for things out of the right timing. It's not the timing for him to give those things to us. But it's the same with him. It's his great pleasure to be able to give us good things in the timing and and when it's actually good for us. It's a great pleasure of his. Like he desires for us to go to him as our father and ask him for for things and it's his great desire to be able to provide those things for us just the same as it is with our children but we need to realize that sometimes the things that we're asking for we think that God's not responding to us that he's not hearing our cries hearing our prayers but sometimes it's for our own benefit it's just we need to trust the Lord we need to trust that his plans for us are good and the Bible says that if we ask him for a fish, he's not going to give us a snake. And if we being evil can give our children good things, how much more can God give us? Like how much more uh, does he have in store for us and want to give us? So I want to encourage you today to trust the Lord. It's best for us to be in alignment with what he wants for our lives, not just what we think we want for our lives, not what we think sounds good because you know our desires come and go but when you connect with the lord one-on-one -on -one and your desires become his desires he will fulfill those desires the, the bible says delight in the lord with all of your heart and he will give you he will give you the desires of your heart so seek him first and allow him to add all the things unto you in due time those things are coming but just know if God's not answering he's not coming through it's not always that he's not working or doing something sometimes he's trying to protect us from the things that we can't see <laughs> the things that we he knows are ahead and we don't we don't know we can, because we don't have that foreknowledge it's that's why we need to stay in fellowship and communion with him because we don't know what's ahead of us, but our God does. So seek him and allow your desires to transform and be his desires for you. And you will be living your quote unquote best life <laughs> because it's the life that God has purposed for you to live in and through him and in through him, him and him alone. Amen. All right, well, I hope this message has blessed you today. Be encouraged. God is on the throne and he's working and moving every day. Whether we see it or not, he is a good and mighty God and he is a good, good father. Amen. All right, blessings. Bye. <laughs>